as you can see, progress has been made on the Ford GT. It looks like a Ford GT now, minus some um, wheels and tires and some mirrors and some tail lights, so there we have it. Um, didn't turn out as great as I could do. Um, this will not be the be one of the better models I build in 2019. That's okay. Had issues, and I'll move forward, and I'll learn from it, and hopefully the next model I build will be a little bit better. So here it is, getting there. Um, I have some issues with this. Um, one thing I do want to point out, the, the tolerances for this kit are very, very, very slim when it comes to the body panels. Very slim. And uh, you're, it's very easy to make things not be aligned just with a little bit too much paint or clear or something. So just keep that in mind if you're going to build this. The tolerances can be very, very, are very, 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 very tight. And that's why some, like, some of these pieces aren't, f some of the body panels are not fully lining up 100% because I screwed up somewhere. Or it could be because I um, broke off two of the pieces that I had initially glued on and then I put them back on. So I think that could also be part of the issue too. But I've heard from some other people that the tolerances are very, very tight for the body. So just keep that in mind when you are building yours if you do plan on building one. So with that, let's, um, while we're here, let's get some of this finished. I'm going to put the, uh, get the decals on. And then uh, get the last four remaining pieces on right there, and that we can call it completed. So I'll be using a to me a, a Mark Fit. I'm sorry, yeah, a Mark Fit Strong for the solution. Let's get my handy dandy, awesome um, decal tray out. Do you see? Oh yeah, I, I love that thing. I absolutely love it. I guess we'll start with the first one here. I know you're probably saying, dude, you should have done this beforehand. You're absolutely right. Should have. But I wasn't 100% sure I wanted to use them. And then I just wanted to make sure that, that's, you know, how kind of protect them because I was still working on them, worked on the model. Just making up excuses now as I go. No, you're absolutely right. I should. I should have uh, did this beforehand. Straight. It's pretty straight. Um, I'll do the uh, next two pieces. I can pop 
this out, I think. I want to do. Now this back piece, this window cover is just set in place. It fits that good. You don't even need any glue. Uh, good old Tamiya engineering, right, folks? All right. So the decals are in place. Let's let them dry, and we'll come back and get those last few pieces on. All righty. These decals are on. They're still drying a little bit, but they're on there enough where we can continue on and get the last remaining pieces onto the kit. So we can wrap it up. All right. Let's uh, let's start. With, let's get the tail lights in place. Um, a little bit of a there's a little bit of a canopy canopy glue here formula 560 it's probably a little bit get that in there so there's the one. Not the other one. Right. Um, do something real quick here. Decal, it's still kind of all right. A little bit more, I guess, some more glue. Damn. All right, tail lights are in place. Now the let's get the uh, mirrors in place. Uh, driver's side. Let's get started with that. Get a little bit blue. place let's get the right side in There we have it, the finishing touches to the Ford GT. Uh, let's, let me clean this window off real quick. Let's clear. That is it. Now we're going to put the wheels and tires on it, and it is done. So the next time you see it, it will be in the completed video. Thank you guys for watching.